maiden speech, Jared O'Mara. Mr Speaker, thank you. In fact, everybody, thank you. You've all been terribly patient. Uh, I'm delighted today to finally be able to make my maiden speech as the MP for the constituency where I grew up, Sheffield Hallam. I was elected a year ago as Hallam's first Labour MP, but due to mistakes I made when I was young, and for which I'm truly sorry as it hurt a lot of people, I've been unable to speak in the House with confidence until now, and I currently speak in the capacity of an independent member. In addition to this, I am also Parliament's very first autistic MP, as well as having cerebral palsy and other disabilities. This is something which fills me with immense pride, and it is an honour for me to have the chance to represent our country's disabled people, in addition to serving my constituents. Mr Speaker, I would like to give praise to my predecessor for his admirable and steadfast belief in the value of our membership within the European Union and his commitment to multiculturalism, both of which I share myself. He shall also be remembered fondly as a hard-working and capable constituency MP, and for that he has my respect. I may, of course, be biased, but Sheffield Hallam is quite possibly one of the most beautiful and greenest constituencies in the country. On the cusp of the Peak District National Park, it con contains districts including Fulwood, Lodgemore, Eccleshall, Stannington, Wadsey Park Village, where I lived myself for a number of years, Loxley, Crosspool, Daw, Bradway and Totley. It is home to too many great schools to mention, including the two schools I went to myself, Bradfield and Tapton. And we have the world's second oldest football club, Hallam FC, who are playing their home matches at Standigate Lane. On the subject of sport, our schools and villages have also given rise to some of the nation's greatest sports people, including Joe Roo, Michael Vaughan, Dame Jessica Ennis Hill, the best right back in world football, Kyle Walker, even though I am an owl and he's a blade and the gold medal winning Special Olympian Nathan Hill. Mr Speaker, my constituency gets unfairly typecast as one of the least diverse and most wealthy in the North, yet I have had the privilege of meeting and speaking to people from all walks of life in Hallam this past year, whether it be our sizeable student community, people from humble beginnings and blue collar professions, much the same as my own background, successful white collar workers, academics and business people, inspiring and compassionate representatives of our 300-strong Jewish community, so many graceful and civic-minded British Muslims, or the plethora of bright young people from our local schools who have impressed me in no end. Hallam is in fact the very epitome of multiculturalism, as is my city of Sheffield as a whole, and I am very proud to call it home. In my constituency and my city, I have also met many wonderful Christian people. Indeed, my own parents, who have been at my side through thick and thin, are Christians themselves. Whilst I consider myself a man of science and more aligned with atheism and humanism, I have the utmost respect for all religious people and I feel specifically that we can all learn from the teachings of Jesus. He was a man who forgave those who truly repented and he shares my belief that our utmost human priority should be helping those who are most disadvantaged and vulnerable amongst us, chiefly our poor and the privileged, our senior citizens, our children, people with disabilities and illnesses and people who want to right, find the right path again after making mistakes. I would ask that my constituents, all parties within this House and everyone in the country at large now join me in prioritising these principles and I thank you very much for listening to this speech. I promise that I would do my utmost to help all those in need of help within my constituency and to champion the cause of equality. When I return to Parliament in September, I should do so with renewed vigour and an unwavering commitment to social justice, and I look forward to being the best MP that I can possibly be. Thank you very much once more. Yeah. Well, I congratulate the Honourable Gentleman on his commendably succinct speech, and I wish him well. Caroline Lucas. <laughs> 